when my kids were little, I used to, I have twins. If you don't know, I have twins. They're adults now. They're in college. But when they were little, I would take them into the bath and give them a bath. And then I would put some lotion on them and their clean diapers and their clean little jammies. And I would sing a little song. It's like, night, night, head, night, night, nose, night, night, arms, night, night, toes. And I would, you know, carry them up to bed and I would put them in their crib and I would give them lots of kisses and I would tiptoe out of the room and shut the door, right? Every night we build this really nurturing and loving bedtime routine. But when it came to me, you know, basically fall into bed, right? You know, barely brushing my teeth. I was so tired. So that is what we're talking about here in this, in this whole month is this idea of building a nurturing bedtime routine for ourselves, right? For ourselves in the most loving and sweet ways so that we too can get a quality of sleep that will help us in every single aspect of our lives. So the healthy habit we're talking about this month is a bedtime routine and sleep. If you are new to this channel, I just want to say welcome, 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 welcome. I hope that this work is as deep and transformational for you as it is and has been for me on my healing journey. And if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so thrilled that these pondering videos are resonating with you. If there's a topic that you're really enjoying, if you hit the like button, that will help me know that this is the kind of content that you'd like to see more of. You can always share it with a friend or please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get notified when the videos come right out and we can sort of ponder in real time. Okay. So we're talking about sleep. I know many of you are saying, I don't need a lot of sleep or I'm going to you know, work late in the nights during the week, but I catch up with my sleep on the weekends or um, all the different ways we talk to each other about sleep. But I just want to say, whoa, let's ponder something here for a moment and think about it. Okay. Would you want your heart surgeon or your brain surgeon to work during the week and then catch up with the sleep over the weekend? Right. Would you want your pilot to not have a good night's sleep or your parents who's driving, you know, children on long road trips to not have a good night's sleep, right? We know how important sleep is, don't we? We know, but when it comes to ourselves, right? When it comes to ourselves, how much are we setting ourselves up for success? Like me with my kids building this beautiful bedtime routine for them, me, meh, whatever right? But no, this is about treating ourselves with this whole month of really designing a bedtime routine that not just meets you where you are and you in your lifestyle and you in your personality and your needs, but also one that you can sustain and grow throughout the rest of your life. Sleep is a crucial, crucial habit. And to me, it is the most important out of all the healthy habits I teach year round. Number one is a good night's sleep, right? If we're not getting a good night's sleep, what else? It's going to be really hard to be productive at work. It's going to be really hard to be patient with our spouse. It's going to be really hard to feel joy or eat healthy or do any of the things. Sleep is crucial. Okay. So that's what we're talking about in the inner circle. We're building these bedtime routines. As always, I'm not handing you something and saying, do this. You are looking at the way you're showing up. You're looking at the way you enjoy. You're looking at the things you like, the things you don't like, and you're building a routine to meet you aligned with your own natural cycles. That is what Ayurveda teaches. It's not a one size fits all. It is an honoring of your own natural cycles. Okay. So I wanted to offer you 10 tips that Ayurveda teaches us about how we can start to work on having a bedtime routine. If you're interested in it and you want to go deeper into some of these topics, then join the inner circle because we dive deep. We dive deep. We even buy new curtains sometimes. Okay. I mean, it's all the things. All right. So the first thing is eat your biggest meal during the day so that you're not using sleep time to digest your food. Number two, um, have a little nightcap. Uh, there is a, uh, a a drink called Mother's Milk. You can actually look it up and it's a warm milk with cinnamon and a little ghee and a little, you can put whatever you want in it and, and there's different recipes and I'll share some with you in the inner circle, but you could also look it up. Really warm sort of nurturing tea drink or you could even do a chamomile tea. Um, they have a little nightcap in the evening. Number three, 
cut down on how much caffeine you're getting during the day, uh, especially later in the day. Number four, building some consistent routines during the day. Are you getting exercise during the day, right? Are you sort of eating around the same times? If we're living in a real irregular pattern, the body doesn't know which way is up, uh, which time zone you're basically in. Next, doshas. What dosha are you? If you haven't seen my blog on doshas, you can uh, see that in the link below. What dosha are you? The different doshas need different times of sleep, different hours of sleep, different morning uh, rising time, different setting time. So what dosha are you? And see if you can align with that. Building a bedtime routine. All this is about the bedtime routine, but I teach, we start building the bedtime routine while we clean up after dinner. How do we spend those four hours or so before dinner? before bed, building ourselves up so that the next day is the most successful. Um, next is Abhyanga, giving ourselves self-massage, rubbing out our shoulders, doing some yoga practices, maybe taking a nice hot shower at night and, and uh, putting some oil on our bodies, really, really important. Uh, taking inventory. I do teach this in our journaling month. You know, at the end of the day, how did I show up today? right? How did I think about this client? What did I say to my boss? You know, is there anything that I'm not feeling like I did well? Anything I need to clean up? We clean it up before bed. So we're not using our evening hours, our sleep hours, sort of feeling shame or guilt or, or despair about things that we didn't do well during the day. We clean it up right away. Um, next, having some sleep aid remedies for some of you. There are Ayurvedic uh, benefits to some of these sleep remedies. You could look that up also herbal remedies in it from an Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic system uh, and see if maybe that would help you if you really have struggles. And then the last thing I teach is the gratitude. How we go to sleep is usually the feeling tone we have when we wake up. So I really love the idea of practicing gratitudes uh, every night before bed. And the way I like to teach gratitude is what would you miss if it were gone? I also like to say, what is it that you're grateful for today? You know, not in general, like I'm grateful for our home or our roof. Um, I'm grateful for the food in my fridge, those sorts of things we know you're grateful for, but let's be really specific today. What were you grateful for today? Okay. These are the ways that we can start to set up this really healthy night's sleep, building these practices into our lives in a really nice and natural way is going to help you get that good night's sleep that your body is craving. And then you too can sing night, night, head, night, night, nose, night, night, shoulders, night, night, toes. You can keep singing those little songs to yourself, but put yourself to sleep like a little baby, right? Let yourself have that bonus and then see how you start to wake up. If you are new to Ayurveda, I'll just say one more thing before I head off. If you are new to Ayurveda, there are different times of day that is recommended that we get to sleep and that we get to rise. And so I would like just for you to ponder, what time do I like to go to bed? What time do I like to get up? Just start to notice that no good or bad, no right or wrong, but what is your natural way? If you had that ideal um, going to bed and waking up, what would ideally be for you? And start to look at that first, okay? As always, may this work be of deep benefit to you. I'll see you next time. Deep bows and so much love.